Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. And this is a big one. This is called the Julishka and as the name suggests it is supposed to go to Jewel. Yes, I have accepted the Jewel 5 challenge and this is my craft of choice. To make it at least, I hope I will make it. Inside we have the lander vehicle, which should have enough delta V for Tylo and after the stage is separated for Lathe and all the other moons. We also have a small tug in there to get the lander back into the cargo bay should the monopropellant or fuel run out. And down here we have of course the lab necessary to scrub the experiments and save all the delicious science we want to get back from the Joule system. Five Kerbals will be on board in the crew module on top of the rocket and each of them will land on one of the moon. Kerbal engineer tells me that the main stage has about more than 7000 uh, meters per second of delta V to get around in the Joule system. Let's try this baby out. The design has been inspired by some of the older Russian rockets, at least as far as I can remember them, seeing them on paper and in some old clips. And it is supposed to be a single launch, well at least almost single launch to craft. Could be able to manage the entire journey with one launch, but I feel a lot more comfortable when I can refuel it as soon as it is in lower Kerbin orbit. Which I will do in the next episode. This of course being episode 1 of my new series called Journey to Jewel. And we're ready for takeoff. Ignition. And here it goes very slowly because, of course, due to the number of parts, the frame rate is dropping. This thing has, well, I think more than 7,000 tons on the launch pad. Thankfully, it did not explode this time. As you may know, since Kerbal Space Program version uh, 090, a lot of those buildings have been exploded due to impacting rockets or some Kraken strikes. And here we go, picking up speed, rising up into the atmosphere, and of course, Jebediah Kerman enjoying the ride, as he always does. The other Kerman crew members don't seem so happy. The Jewel 5 challenge, as you may know if you are a frequent reader of the forums, requires um, you to visit all five moons of Jewel and return back to Kerbin with the gathered science. There are three levels to it. Level 1 is just simply land one Kerbal on every moon. Level 2 is land two Kerbals on the moons. And then is, there is Jebediah's level. The level which requires you to land one Kerbal each on the moons. So. One Kerbal lands on Tylo, the other lands on Lath, another one lands on Bob, and so on, until you've finished. One of the mods I have installed is B9, which uh, also comes with Rest of Problem Monitor. That's all those multifunction displays as you can see here in the cockpit, which can be quite useful if you really want to do an IVA mission only. However, we're not going to do this here, because, let's be honest, seeing three years inside a capsule is rather boring. And here we have stage separation. And hopefully there is nothing catching on to the main vehicle. No it isn't. We can continue. 
need to rise into the sky. The cloudless sky I might I uh, am inclined to add because unfortunately my clouds mod well not my clouds mod uh, the environmental visual enhancement mod is no longer really compatible with at least my version of Kerbal Space Program and the game crashes all the time if I want to use that mod which is sad because I really really like it and it's time for our gravity turn of course I have sped up the video in the editing otherwise you would have to sit through about 20 minutes of ascent which can be quite boring to be honest because there's nothing really happening except a beautiful rocket rising into the sky and there's no need to let it play any slower than necessary beautiful picture of the moon of the moon in the back as you may have seen of course this vehicle should have enough delta v to get to the moon more than enough but the moon is not our target it our target is jewel the green giant on the outer rims of the kerbal system and we're rising up to the higher parts of the atmosphere and we're ready for the next stage separation ready and fire i said fire and we not only have fire we also have smoke and i really hope we don't have any damage no we don't excellent excellent very good so we can continue our ascent into orbit i'm aiming for about well 100 kilometers should be enough to get a decent possible transfer window to jewel and we keep on climbing very very slowly because even after two stages this vehicle still has quite the mass and we're closing in on our final ascent profile the curls seem relaxed now quite used to the acceleration the rocket can provide I was aiming for a sleek design here so that hopefully when the final version of KSP or at least the first final version, version 1.0 is finished that my rocket still is able to fly correctly because of course you all have heard of it version 1.0 will include new aerodynamics and therefore it is quite unnecessary to construct your vehicles with that in mind so they don't fall out of the sky and we have set our maneuver node to circularize let's drop that escape tower the launch escape system i've actually mapped that to uh, an action group if the launch would have been messed up or something but fortunately that was not necessary and we're circularizing and getting our final orbit more or less 100 kilometers apoapse and periapse give or take a few meters and let's let the ship glide into the sun so we can behold its beauty oh, i love sunrises especially from orbit i would really love to get up in space someday but unfortunately for most of us who would dream that it won't be possible the solar panels are extended and this concludes our first episode of journey to jewel and subscribe to keep informed about the next episodes until next time Thanks for watching, goodbye.